When kids have technology in their hand, they show boundless imagination. However, oftentimes this imagination is hindered by the complexity of technology. The MIT App Inventor tackles this by making technology accessible to everyone. And we have a specific goal to empower kids to create mobile applications for social good. We have observed that when kids have their hands on machine learning, deep learning, robotics, Internet of Things, they create mobile applications that solve environmental issues, community issues, and also health issues. For example, these girls, these young girls from Texas created a mobile application where it helps their blind friend to navigate throughout their school. And as you can see in this image, their work has been identified by the White House, and they had the chance to show their work to President Obama. At this point, it's no secret that the, uh, generative AI is one of the next big technology. With generative AI, you can create an image or a blob of text in a matter of seconds. The natural question we have is, what can kids create when they get their hands on generative AI? Will they be able to create something magnificent just like the girls from Texas? In this talk, I want to introduce a few lines of projects the App Inventor is conducting around this generative AI. The first example is um, we are integrating these large language models into App Inventor. And what that means is we're making it simply and possible for people to create apps that harnesses the power of these uh, large language models. I want to show a quick demo of how that works. So in my phone, I have the same app that's shown in the screen. Describe MIT in less than two sentences. Huh. <laughs> Oh, it could be the Wi-Fi issues. I actually heard about that when there's too many people using the same Wi-Fi, it could happen. It's not possible to describe. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I wanted to show was, if I say describe MIT in less than two sentences, MIT is a prestigious university that does technology. And then I was going to say, act like a five years old and describe MIT in less than two sentences. And then it says, MIT is a cool school where you create robots and people do science. <laughs> but I know there are many smart people here, and some of you might be thinking, but what's so special about that? That's just an app using an API. But it's not really the technical innovation that I want to emphasize here, but rather how simple it is to create this app. This app is two buttons and a few blocks. Even a 10-year-old can create this. And what our team believes is, because of this simplicity, kids will be able to create much more interesting and fun apps on top of it. For example, this app is where you can make a list of all the food ingredients in your refrigerator, and then you ask ChatGPT, what should I cook for dinner? And then ChatGPT will say, well, based on this list, you should try making this. Our second line of project is integrating image generation where we're making it possible for anyone to create apps to uh, automatically generate image and also edit images with ease. We are also considering combining these rule-based conversational AI, such as Alexa, with large language models conversational AI. Appli is a slightly different um, line of project that we are conducting that harnesses the power of generative AI. With Appli, we are making it possible for anyone to create a mobile application with just their spoken language. Without further ado, please let me show you a demo. Tell App Inventor I want to make an app. Please give me a name for the app you want to make. Call the app Translate. Please describe the app you want to make. Make an app that translates English text into one of five selected languages when a button is pressed. Let me see what I can make for you. Then both the app name and description are populated into the code generator window. And with just the click of a button, my natural language description is transformed into a fully functional app. Just like any App Inventor app, I can navigate to the block screen and make any customizations or changes I would like. 
I can now translate from English to Spanish with ease. So we are also adding new features into Appli. As you can see in the screen, we are all adding this editing capability where you can not only create an app, but also edit your app with your spoken language. We are also planning to do a lot of user studies to enhance usability, and we are exploring different prompt engineering methods to increase the quality of the apps being created. However, we are also interested in the other side of the coin. We are interested in how this changed the dynamic of programming. Our lab is based on the philosophy that programming in its essence is a conversation between the human and the computer. The human has an idea of a certain artifact, and then they express this artifact by constructing processes so that the computer can understand what that artifact is. But this dynamic is changing because we have this new guest called AI. And now what's happening is the human is just describing what they want somehow somewhat demanding the computer to understand what they have in their head. This raises many different questions, but the core question that App Inventor is interested in is how does this change computer science education? Do we not have to teach coding anymore? But some people believe that the act of coding is critical in learning computational thinking. As educators, we have the obligation to think about while we want to empower kids to create new things with generative AI, we also have to preserve and enhance their computational thinking, their linguistic capability, and their will to create new art. I want to end my presentation from a quote from our PI, Hal Abelson. Kids are people too. How I interpret that is, Yes, it's important and magnificent to see all these technology advancements, but it's also important to think how kids perceive these technologies. What can they do with it? And most importantly, what future are they gonna create along with these technologies? Thank you.